How's it going guys? I'm Stelvio, this is Kuriaune, welcome back to the channel. In this video we're gonna have a look at the two new uh, Adidas shoes from the Adizero family. The new Adizero Adidas 6 and the RC3. Uh, both shoes are lightweight and without carbon plate, uh, but in a different range of price. So let's get started. The RC3 is lighter than the Adidas 6 uh, with a lower stockade. Uh, better for those runners uh, who like the ground uh, feel and uh, are looking for a classical uh, minimal uh, running shoe. The drop is different, uh, while in the Adio 6 we have a drop of 8mm, in the RC3 we have 9.5mm uh, suggested for the runners uh, who have problems uh, with the kelps. I run with both shoes uh, more than 100 miles, uh, you can find uh, uh, the video review in the, in the channel uh, and my kelps uh, didn't complain. The outsole are different, uh, the RC3 is covered with a, a Nadi Wear rubber, uh, while the Adios 6 uh, has the famous Continental rubber. The grip is great in uh, both models, uh, but the Adios 6 uh, with the Continental rubber uh, and the new pattern uh, sounds better to me, even though it is uh, thicker, especially in the forefoot, uh, than the outsole in the uh, RC3 and uh, collects a lot of stones. Durability is great uh, in the RC3, good in the Adios 6 uh, because some wears in the in the heel uh, where the rubber is thinner. Same dimensions, uh, slightly narrower uh, in the Adios 6, uh, uh, especially in the heel. The midsole in the Adios 6 is more premium uh, because the software light strike pro in the forefoot, uh, while in the RC3 uh, we have the entire midsole uh, in the light track form. A slightly better feeling in the Adios 6 after 50 miles uh, because before the outsole is uh, so rigid uh, that you won't uh, um, feel the difference uh, with the RC3. The Adios 6 has an higher stockade uh, which is better for the cushioning uh, but it is not really what I'm looking for in uh, an Adizero shoe. Looking at the running metrics collected, uh, the RC3 has a better response uh, because the lower uh, ground contact time at the same pace uh, but in general uh, slightly more bouncier than the Adios 6 uh, which is then uh, better in terms of efficiency. We are talking about uh, uh, small differences in the figures collected, uh, difficult to notice. Uh, you can find all the charts and the data uh, in more details uh, in the review video in the channel. Great upper for both shoes uh, uh, with a new design in the RC3 uh, which is durable, breathable and with a great fit. Uh, the same for the Adios 6 uh, even though I prefer the RC3 which is better for a thinner fit. Great quality material for the counters in the heel uh, but uh, a little bit too rigid in the RC3. Great tanks, uh, lighter in the Adios 6 uh, and comfortable in the RC3. The Adios 6 uh, is a versatile shoe uh, which looks like um, the previous Boston 9, good for different kind of trainings, even the longer ones. Uh, the RC3 is a lightweight, uh, low to the ground uh, uh, shoe, uh, which looks like the Adios 5 uh, without boost foam uh, in the heel, uh, good for short trainings and uh, short distance race, uh, like for instance 5 km or 10 km. The Adios 6 costs uh, another 30 euro, uh, while the RC3 uh, is around 60 euro. With that being said, uh, if you like this content, please consider to subscribe and activate the notification bell so that you won't miss any new video. Have a good running and till the next one. See you. Ciao.